Welcome to the next SafeShares app podcast and this time around I want to show you a nice video player a video player called LL's video player and I'm basically the developer of this uh, video player so uh, it's my video player basically so you can find this video player on warehouse uh, I think the camera is flickering a little bit should stop now. Uh, you can find this application on the warehouse, as you can see here. Um, a lot, lots and lots of people downloaded it already. It has some nice, interesting features, and I'm, I want to show you some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. So, when you first open it up, you will see this overview, which allows you to search your history, look at your bookmarks, search on YouTube, browse files, enter your URL or go and load a playlist. So normally, usually what you want to do, uh, the most frequently used options I think are search on YouTube and browse files. Uh, for example, I will go now to search uh, or browse files. This will open up your uh, videos directory. I have some files in here and what you can do is just simply uh, let me find a video without any copyrighted uh, or any uh, with free free uh, or Creative Commons music in it. Just like for example this one, you can click on it. There's a video file. You can play it back. You can of course rotate it. If you click on it, you get the overview. See the seconds here and can scroll forward for example in the video file just like a normal video player basically what you will see here also is that there is an indicator here besides the title let me pause this besides the title this basically says that there's a page hidden if you swipe then forward you can see some information some basic information about this file just like for example the title the video codec used the audio codec used and the bitrate and where the file is stored and uh, located. What you can do here is, if it's a music file, for example, or from an artist or something like this, you can go and search the artist on Google Image to see the album art or something like this, search the artist on Wikipedia. This will basically just bring up the web browser and search for the artist. Or search the artist on YouTube if you want some other uh, videos and just let go. It will open up in an internal web browser and this allows you to, for example, search for other uh, YouTube uh, videos around or about uh, Yola and you can click on them and uh, simply open them up uh, or you can go into, it's basically the same functionality as you have on search on YouTube. If you click on this, it will bring up the browser and you have the option to just simply play something back. For example, here, a nice life hack video. You click on this and as you can see it will load the video player and you have then the option to choose the quality by default it uh, chooses 720p you can click on this and you have the option between uh, 360 and 240p and uh, then you can just simply click on play to play the file back it will then it will then try to play it back as you can see it's a little bit stuttering because I have a slow internet connection here uh, there's a pulley menu hidden uh, for YouTube videos and other uh, videos uh, or video streams from the internet. You have the option to download stuff uh, or add to bookmark, as you can see, or load a subtitle even if you want to, or download the YouTube video. And if you click on download the YouTube video, it will ask you about the quality that you want to download uh, it. And if you click on downloading or one of the quality changes, uh, you, you choose your quality basically, then it will download into the videos directory and then you can just simply play that file back later and save it. Uh, then of course, uh, loading subtitle side, subtitles. I think I have an example for subtitles as well here. Um, let's go back, load the YOLA MP4 and add um, uh, load subtitle and then I will choose one subtitle I have in here example subtitle if I play you should see the subtitle here it's an example subtitle in this case but it should work SRT subtitles are supported no one no others 
So, but as you can see, they have rich text support as well, so it works quite fine. You have some options for the subtitles as well. If you go back into the main menu, you have settings where you can set different things up. Like, for example, I want bold subtitle font. I want, uh, I can set the subtitle font size. Very interesting, I think. If the subtitles are too small for you or too big, you can uh, choose a different. Uh, font size here or you can choose the subtitle color there are some popular colors for the subtitle font or you have the option to just uh, use a solid subtitle text background very interesting for those who have uh, problems reading the subtitles because the color is uh, the, uh, the, the distinction between the uh, foreground and background is not so very good you can use the solid subtitle text background which basically will draw black or white depending on the uh, subtitle color you choose um, background for the text for the subtitle text and then you have some uh, other options just like for example the file manager used by the browse file dialog you can choose here by default it's the advanced file manager if you want a simple file manager you can simply um, uh, choose it from here simple file manager or if you want to have the video gallery the same way as it looks on uh, the uh, gallery on the Yola gallery basically you can uh, choose video gallery here. Uh, you have uh, the option to use the, which is default, use the live preview when minimized. So this basically means if you, let me go to history, um, play back the last video. If you play this back, you will see if I minimize it, it still uh, plays the video back in this uh, tile or in this uh, multitasking view and I have the option to just stop it here or pause it here and play it back again. So this is by default enabled. If you don't want this, uh, it can save a little bit of power. Uh, when it is disabled you can uh, disable it in the settings and of course there are some other settings just like for example clear the history or update YouTube TL which is a library used in the background to download various streaming stuffs so you have if you have a website uh, vimeo.com for example uh, or other non YouTube websites basically you can just enter the URL here and then uh, just paste it in here, the URL, and it will then use YouTube DL to try to detect the stream of the video file and then try to uh, play it back. And usually if you have the option to play it back, you can also download the video, uh, which is a nice addition, I think. Yeah, this is basically LL's video player, my video player. Uh, there are some other options, just like, for example, playlists. So you can load playlists in here, you can create playlists. Um, I don't think I have a playlist in here, as you can see here, no playlist in here, but you can create a playlist, give it a name, add some songs to it if you want to, or some video files even, and they can, uh, then uh, can be played back. Um, playlist support is uh, integrated for PLS files um, only currently. And uh, yeah, this is one option uh, for playlist support bookmarks. Uh, I have some bookmarks, I think, here of some radio stations and some uh, and some video stations or some 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 tv stations basically and uh, you can create new bookmarks in when you have the video open in the pulley menu uh, yeah this is basically a short small overview of uh, my video player and it's a nice application i think i hope and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this little application after downloading, give it a thumbs up on the store, on the warehouse in this case. And yeah, this is everything for this little demonstration. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.